What defines sexual consent? That's a very tricky question. That's a question I didn't think I'd get. You know, I think women give consent. Women, men are always a lot more up for sex than women are as a whole. Of course, there are variations in that, and but exceptions don't disprove the rule. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. And the truth is this, if you're a man, you know if a woman's consented or not. You know, I've never had sex against a woman's consent. If I did, I should be in jail, 20 years minimum. I'm the father of a daughter. I, the idea of a rapist detests me. In every jail in the world, including Romanian jail, the people who are committing those types of crimes are ostracized, punished, and so they should be. The truth is, when you try to police human nature, you go down these absurd spirals of just pure nonsense. In, uh, it was in Spain they proposed that they needed a signed piece of paper before having sex. So here's the thing. I've had consensual sex where the woman's never said yes or no or anything to me. You've gone on light out. It's been wonderful. It's been romantic. The chemistry builds up. Your hand touches hers. You're sitting in the seats of the theater. There's an intermission. The lights go out. You go in for the kiss. She kisses you back. You go back to the house afterwards. You pour a glass of wine. You talk. You start kissing. And then sex. There's, at no point did I stop the kissing. Do you consent to having sexual intercourse with me? Like, what kind of insane law would that be? Consent is given most of the time without any words being spoken. And there are men and women in this room, and everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. Everyone already knows this. The world's gone nuts, bro. Fact. The world, so, so what does define sexual consent? If you, can, if you can fully consent, both parties can fully consent with no words spoken, what does define it? The question is, you know. As a man, you know if she's consented or not. You think I've never tried to have sex with a woman and she said no? And she said no without speaking. You're kissing her, exactly the same story happens. She's on your bed, you touch her stomach, you start reaching up her top, she grabs your hands and pulls it down. That's a no. It's fine and it's no. Then you fucking have another glass of wine and go to sleep. It isn't a big deal. So how do you define it? You can't police this shit. All you can do is teach men not to be scumbag, rapist, pieces of shit. You teach men the proper way of dealing with women. And what you do is you obviously massively punish rapists who are convicted of rape. And you also massively punish false accusers who are proven. Hear me out. If a man goes to trial for rape and he's found not guilty, you don't punish the woman. You don't punish her because it could have been. He's found not guilty. That doesn't mean she's a false accuser. But when you have evidence, it's been found. Text messages. Ha ha, I'm going to say he raped me. Blah, blah. Clear evidence of a false accusation. Give her the same sentences. Let people respect consent much more. You can't police it. Sign bits of paper. Apps. It's a joke. An app might work in today's day and age. Beep, beep, it's an app. But then, but then, here's the thing. I get consent on the app. No, let's say I get consent on the paper. Let's go down this rabbit hole because I like this question. I'm enjoying this. I and beautiful woman A are going to have sex with each other. We're kissing, we're talking, the exact same date, date nights happen. I stop. Do you consent to having sex with me? Yes, I do. Here are the consent forms. Please sign it, write your date, stamp it, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Consent forms done, right? Boom. I grab hold of her. I start kissing her badly. I can't kiss very well. I drop my pants. I've got tiny little dicks. And she says, you know what, Tristan? I don't want to have sex with you anymore. Well, I've got the signed paper. That's when rape is just... That's when rape is, uh, is, uh, l is legally excusable. You could say to the judge, oh, I have this piece of paper. Rapists can then get away with rape if you let them do it. I was about to say rape is justified. I didn't mean that. I meant rape is justified in the eyes of the law because you can do anything you want to her then. I've got the signed bit of paper. You can't do that. That's sick. That's disgusting. So yeah, I think consent, what defines sexual consent? If you're a man, you know what defines sexual consent. You know when she's too drunk. You know when she tries to stop you. You know when she's completely giving herself to you and she's open to you. You know. Words, no words, papers, no papers, apps, clicks, doesn't matter. You know. Hmm. And I if mean, you don't respect that, you deserve to go to jail. Hmm.
I need to take a sip of water after that <laughs> one. I was just well, thinking, I wonder if Tristan needs a little break. I, I, you just come to no, I, n- I never thought about the question, really. But now that I go down the rabbit hole, I realize how stupid these piece of paper signing consent laws even are. Mm. It's, it's actually ridiculous. Humans have had sex for in the entirety of human history. Yeah, we didn't need tablets exactly. or scrolls. Yeah, and, and rape was punishable in the Roman Empire, and rape was punishable in the Mongol Empire, mm. and rape was punishable everywhere, as it should be. But you can't start policing consent. Ooh. Ever heard of a forged signature? That would be a f- problem. Yeah.